Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Target 100 in Mathematics by Shivesh Kumar Singh and today we are going to talk about ratio. Okay, this is very important topic for grade 6. So let's start the lesson. Now first of all we'll try to understand what is the meaning of ratio. See, in the simple language you can say ratio means division or you can say part of. See, for example if I say 2 ratio 3 okay so mathematically how you can express this sentence you can write like this 2 then double dot like this and 3 what is the name of this double dot this is called colon what we say colon so this is also read as 2 ratio 3 or the same thing you can say like this also 2 from 3 okay or you can say ratio of 2 to 3 like this you can say so these are the three different ways to express the ratio okay and if i say 2 ratio 3 then it simple means 2 is divided by 3 that's why i that's why i use this word division okay so whenever you need to talk about the ratio then you will have to simplify this by dividing it okay now it, this is the simple very simple concept now in some of the cases you will have to write the ratio in the simplest form and what is that simplest form for this you need to understand maybe that what do you say hcf or gcf okay greatest common factor or simple division so that is called simplest form of ratio for example suppose question is they say 14 divided by or 14 ratio 20 they can ask you that what is the simplest form of this ratio so how you will do this see you have various methods to do this by finding the gcf or by finding the by simple division okay i will try to explain you each and everything here it depends on you that what method you will prefer for example you can say that i am making the factor tree okay like two numbers which can divide uh, 14 or you can say two numbers whose multiplication will be 14 so 2 and 7 now they cannot be factorized further so this 14 can be written as 2 multiply 7 this is 2 multiplied by 7 and now for 20 what you can write here for 20 you can write 2 multiply 10 or you can say 4 multiply 5 also and then 10 can be factorized as 2 and 5 okay so here you will write the last number these are the last numbers in the factor tree so you will write it here 2 multiply 2 multiply by 5 okay now you see before the ratio these are the numbers after the ratio these are the numbers so if you can see any number same in both the sides then cancel the numbers for example 2 and 2 here same so cancel it nothing else we can cancel so in left side what is left only 7 in right hand side what is left only 2 and 5 so 2 multiply 5 will be 10 so 7 ratio 10 is the simplest form of this ratio okay and that is also called equivalent ratio what we say equivalent ratio so equivalent ratio means what that if you get the same answer so 14 ratio 20 and 7 ratio 10 they are the equivalent ratio and same like if you multiply it by 3 then 21 ratio 30 is also equivalent ratio because whenever you will write in the simplest form you will get 7 ratio 10 okay now similarly we can have few more questions for example say um, a, let's take any big number now say 32 ratio 100 okay now question is again write this ratio in the simplest form so what you can do here see i'm i'm not saying that only this factor tree is the final method for solving this okay you can do any method it's up to you so 32 because the students sometimes they feel finding problem in um, what do you say gcf or they find it difficult to divide the numbers okay in searching the numbers which can divide both the numbers so that's what i according to me this is easier for you so for 32 you can write 4 multiplied by 8 and then what else you can write 
you can factorize 4, uh, 4 as 2 multiply 2 and 8 as 2 multiply 4 and this 4 also you can factorize at 2 multiply 2. So you will write all the last numbers. These are the last numbers. So you will write them. So 32 can be written as 2 multiply 2 5 times. This is 32. And you can check also, okay, after writing this number, I will prefer in exam or uh, while practicing the questions, you just you just check it, cross check. 2 multiply 2, 4. 4 multiply 2, 8. 8 multiply 2, 16. And 16 multiplied by 2, 32. So it means this our factorization is correct, okay. Now, same for 50, uh, same for 100. You see how you can factorize 100. It can be 2 multiplied by 50. And then 50 further, it can be 5 multiplied by 10. And then 10 further, it can be 2 multiplied by 5. So write it here. So it will be 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5. Okay. Now, as usual, I told you before the ratio and after ratio, whatever numbers are same, you just cancel it. Okay. So 2 here cancelled, 2 here cancelled. Then again, 2 this cancelled and 2 this cancelled. So what is left here? You can see 2 multiplied by 2, 4. 4 multiplied by 2, 8. Ratio here 5 multiplied by 5, 25. So this 8 ratio 25 is the final simplest form of the ratio 32 ratio 100. Okay? Like this you can do such questions. Hope you understood this thing. Now next question can be, some questions I have taken from your book also. Just try to understand. Shamaz has six dims and four quarters. Sharina has five dims and three quarters. Shama thinks that the ratio of dims to quarter for both girls is the same because they each have two more quarters than dims. Is the same ratio of dims to the quarter maintained? Justify your answer. Now, my dear students, you will understand few things here that whenever you are dealing with the question of ratio, then you must understand that what number you should write first and what number you should write second. Okay. So what you can see here, what they are asking about first number first is dims. Because it is written before 2. See, they, they have written here ratio of dims to quarter. This one. Okay. So, first will be dims. And second will be quarters. Okay. And how many students are there? Two students are there. One is Shamma and another is, um, where is the another student? Sharina. Okay. Now, you just try to understand these things. How many dims Shamma has? 6. And how many quarters she has? 4. How many dims uh, Sharina has? 5. How many dims uh, she a uh, quarter she has? 3. Okay. Now, you see, they are saying that Shamma is thinking that 6 minus 2 will be 4. Okay. And 5 minus 2 will be 3. So, is this the proper reason that same ratio is maintained? No. Why? Because ratio doesn't deal with addition and subtraction. It always deals with multiplication and division. Okay. Now, so what you will do here, you will check that by division they are same or no. Okay. So, dims divided by quarter. For Shamma, what is this? For Shamma, it is 6 divided by 4. And 6 divided by 4 means if you will divide it, then what you will get? You will get 4 times 1, 4. 2 remainder and then 4 fives are 20. So 1.5 will be the answer. You can check the division. Okay. And for Sharina, it will be uh, 5 divided by 3 because this ratio is 5 to 3. So this is 3 ones are 3, 2 remainder, 3 6 are 18 and continue. Okay. It will not be finished. So continue. But we, our concern is whether they are same or not. So here you see ratio is 1.5, here ratio is 1.6. So it means it is not the same ratio. Okay. And why not the same ratio? Because their division answer is different. Okay. Now, what next we can have? 
See, second question is a small box of fruit contains the fruit as shown in the table. This is the table for the small box. Okay. Now, a large basket has the same ratio of the fruits as a small box. If the large basket has a total of 42 fruits, it means see in such questions, you will try to find two keywords from the question, how you will solve it. So here I'm finding one is total and another is oranges. You see three types of fruits are given in the bas basket, apple, orange and pear. So here in the question they are writing about oranges okay maybe in the exam they will ask about apple or they can ask about the peers okay so read the question carefully so for the small box how many total fruits are there you just add these numbers okay so 6 plus 5 11 11 plus 3 14 so 14 box 14 fruits total and how many oranges do we have before so it is 5 and now in the big basket we have 42 fruits total so how many oranges it will be okay now you see they are maintaining the same same ratio so from 14 to 42 what you can do here the, by what number you will multiply 14 to get 42 okay you can count it or you can do one thing that you can divide 42 by 14 you can do like this also okay so no worries this is a very simple number so 40, 14 multiplied by 3 will give you 42. So here it will be multiplied by 43, uh, sorry, 3. So same multiplication will be done here also. So 5 multiplied by 3. So how many oranges will be there in the big basket? It will be 5 multiplied by 3 and it will be equal to 15. Okay. So this will be the answer if they are asking about apple you can change the number here if they are asking about peers so again you can change the number here okay like this you can solve the question now next question can be a small batch of trail mix contains two cups of raisins two cups of peanuts one cup of sunflower seeds and one cup of chocolate coated candies okay now you see these are the different variety now First, you write all these things properly and then read the question further, okay? They are saying raisins, then what else? Uh, peanuts, and then what next? They are saying sunflower seeds. So, I am writing only seeds, okay? And another is chocolate coated candies. So, I am writing only chocolate, okay? So, how many numbers? Two cups raisins, two cups peanut one cup of sunflower seeds this is one only okay and one cup of chocolate coated seeds now a large batch this is for the small box okay now the large one the big box has same ratio if the large batch has eight cups of peanuts so this is eight and how many cups of sunflower seeds are in the large batch so we are concerned with these two things only okay now you see the same like last question I told you by what number you will multiply 2 to get 8. This is easy number so I am writing here directly. You can easily understand that 2 multiplied by 4 will become 8. So same multiplication will be done here also. If you are dividing here in the left side then you will divide here also. If you are multiplying this side so you will multiply this side also. Okay. So 1 multiplied by 4 is equal to 4. Okay, like this you can get the answer easily. Again, I am telling you if you read the question carefully for the ratio, then try to write the things like this and then try to write the proper number. Okay, don't be in hurry while reading the questions and I am sure you will understand this lesson and if you think that such videos will help you to increase your knowledge, please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends also. Thank you.